my name is uh, Nicolas Adeolac. I am uh, one of the four founders, and now uh, actually the manager. Uh, how would you define Fortitude? Because some people say it's a school, some others it's a university. So uh, that, that's a really difficult question. Uh, and by the way, we are not called School 42. We are the name of the of the stuff. It's 42 itself uh, because we don't believe and we don't find any name uh, because we don't teach. There is no classroom. There is no teacher. Uh, there is not even knowledge transmission. I mean, we don't mean to transfer knowledge. We mean to develop creativity and collaboration. If you know World of Warcraft, mainly it's World of Warcraft. You remove the dungeon and you put yeah. computer project. What is the story behind 42? Uh, just before uh, managing, starting 42, I was managing Epitech, another IT school that I founded 20 years ago. And in this, in this school, we start a program to help poor people, uh, also in poor area, and who quit school early. Okay. We have 100, uh, 120 to 150,000 uh, young people getting out of education system in French each year without any degree. Most of the people will quit because they don't stand it. Because the whole education system is done to remove freedom, to make people more disciplined, to make people more, more standardized. And some people just don't stand it. Okay? And most of the time, they will be the more interesting people to, to be creative. Um, I have been knowing Xavier for now a little more than 25 years. So he called me and he said, Nicola, what's going wrong in this country? I am looking for talents everywhere. I don't find any. So we have a big lack of talent. We need them. Okay? We have young people full of talent but not recognized as, as so. But just make the link. Okay? So that's the main idea of 42. So that explains why being free without teacher is so important. There is two visions of, uh, of, of that. The, the fact that to have no teacher, it's because of we, we think the teacher lead to the past, okay, he is the past. And the main idea that is very important for us, it's we believe that knowledge is not useful anymore. It's even more than not useful, it's dangerous. It's dangerous specifically to IT, uh, because in IT, a lot of people don't understand stuff in IT. They, they feel like IT, it's uh, something where knowledge evolves. It doesn't evolve. It's, it's always a revolution. Um, I, I always tr try to make a simple comparison. I come from physics field. You know, in physics, we learn nature. So we try to understand how nature works, but we don't have any effect on nature. Okay? Uh, in, in IT, it's only human convention. So when we change stuff, it changes the world. It doesn't change only the way we see the world. In IT, the world changes. In physics, the world never changes. So that's our first um, conviction. The second conviction is the fact that we are out of the individual creativity. The feet are too deep, too complex, so that one person can get everything and then find something new. Now all the creativity, it's a group creativity, it's a co-creativity, it's a common brain thing. Okay? And one thing we have to develop to students is this capability to work with people in a co-creative system. What's your vision about the place you created or the places you created together with the corporate world and the tech giants? I, I think, at least in the intelligence artificial, we are in, in a kind of emergence stuff. So, so we are not in a kind of developing process. I mean, we are, we are not in incremental innovation. So it can appear anywhere, uh, and it will probably appear anywhere. You, you have to create cow. It's not a mathematical issue. It's, not a, it's a whole process issue. Maybe it will be a chance of one kid with a friend, with a machine, who, who will create the stuff, whatever. Uh, we think we are part of this. Uh, we think we are part of providing unexpected uh, talent. Do you have students from Brazil or plans to develop in Brazil? Because I believe you have some developments outside of France. We don't know how many students because we don't ask them where do they come from. When we, when we uh, select students, we only know their age, their name, and their email. We don't ask anything else. But by, the, by chance, last week, we, we received people who were speaking Portuguese. And so we asked, do we have students speaking Portuguese? And there were two students from Brazil which were in the, who were in the school. And we have a strategy of development, which is mainly our own strategy, which is to develop in France. So it's done. It's to develop in USA. Okay? We launch a campus in next to San Francisco uh, last July, 
Okay, and it will hold 10,000 students. Okay, so it's one big campus. Uh, the Paris one is 3,000 students. Huh? And we plan to have one somewhere in China and mostly in Shanghai. And it would be bigger. Obrigado, Rio Punto Functuro.